Hey everyone, welcome to Vet Visit. I am Dr. Hansika Singh and I am a veterinarian. So, if you are a veterinary parent and you are just in school or if you are about to give NEET exam soon, then this video is going to be beneficial for you because I am going to tell you that how you can get into veterinary profession. Also, I will be telling about all the points mentioned in the title of this video. But before starting this video, I was like, why don't we do something? So all the students who have given NEET exam recently, like one to two years before, and if you have secured a veterinary seat, then please go down in the comment section below and write about your marks, your rank, category, and the college in which you got a seat. Because I think in this way, you can really help the NEET aspirants who are planning to give uh, the exam soon. And this way, I think we can help each other. So now, without further ado, let's get started. <coughs> so first, let's start with the eligibility criteria. This eligibility criteria is going to be common for almost any exam that you give for veterinary, which is that the applicant needs to have physics, chemistry, biology and English as their subjects in their 11th and 12th class. Now let us talk about the exam. So starting with the most popular exam which I am sure you must already be aware of that is NEET exam which is National Eligibility Come Entrance Test which is conducted by NTA that is National Testing Agency. Now some students still had doubt that do we need to give AIPBT exam or NEET exam for veterinary. So from 2017 onwards AIPBT exam was replaced by NEET exam. So now there is no AIPBT exam which is conducted, it's the NEET exam. Now if your state conducts state level entrance exam and you have domicile of that state then in that condition you can give both the NEET exam and the state level entrance exam. For instance, there are some states that conduct their state level entrance exams like APM set for Andhra Pradesh, RPBT for Rajasthan, KCET for Karnataka, JCECE for Jharkhand, UP CATET for Uttar Pradesh. Earlier some university or colleges used to conduct their own separate entrance exam but now almost all of them have started to accept NEET score. There is NRI quota also available in most of the colleges and universities and if some students wish to take admission in private veterinary colleges then they can do so through NEET exam or state level entrance exam uh, depending upon the college or university that you are seeking admission in. Also management quota seats are also present in private colleges. Anyway I have made a separate video on private colleges admission. Uh, of veterinary earlier on my channel. Now let's discuss a few points about NEET exam. First the eligibility criteria in terms of age that is the candidate needs to be at least 17 years of age at the time of giving the exam and the upper age limit is nothing as such. Okay. Then coming to the syllabus there would be questions from physics, chemistry, biology which is botany and zoology. So the basic syllabus would be from the 11th and 12th what you have studied in your NCRTs. There would be plus 4 for correct answer and minus 1 for the incorrect answer from the total score. Now let's talk about few changes that took place last year that is in the year 2021 and same changes would be implemented this year too in the exam. What are those changes? First, the time, the duration of the exam. Earlier the duration of the exam used to be for 3 hours. Now it is increased from 3 hours to 3 hours 20 minutes. Earlier the number of questions used to be 180. Now the number of questions have increased from 180 to 200. But you still have to attempt 180 questions. How? I am going to explain that. So, there would be two sections from each subject that is in physics, chemistry, botany and zoology there would be two sections. In section 1 there would be 35 compulsory questions. Not exactly compulsory, I mean if you know the answers good you can attempt all of them. Uh, if you don't know the answers then of course to uh, skip the negative marking you can leave them. But 
in section 2 which is supposed to be difficult there would be total 15 questions and there would be a choice for you to do 10 questions and leave 5 questions ok so out of those 15 questions you will have a choice of attempting 10 questions and leaving 5 questions ok so if some students ask that if I know all the 15 questions and if I go ahead and attempting like say 13 or 14 questions and what will happen no in that case uh, only the initial 10 questions would be counted and you won't get extra marks or there would be no negative marking for the next questions that you have attempted from those uh, 15 questions in the section 2 ok so this section division would take place in all the uh, subjects that you have in physics, chemistry, botany and zoology and hence the questions are increased from 45 in each subject to 50 questions in each subject. Do check out the description box below if you want to know about the different veterinary colleges in India both government and private in which you can take up admission through NEET and uh, by that you will also get some idea about the seat matrix so yes that's it for this video i made this video because i was getting a lot of queries from school students specifically because uh, they had interest in veterinary in animals but they didn't know much about how they can take up this profession further so hopefully this video will help you all and uh, however i have made a video already on my channel those were one of the initial videos on my channel about how to become a veterinarian in India but I thought why not make a kind of an updated version of that okay so hence I made it anyway I hope that you liked it and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to vet visit then yes please do do follow the Instagram and Facebook page of vet visit as well while subscribing the channel, do hit the bell icon so that you're always notified whenever a new video comes up. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and keep loving animals like you always do.